This documentary is written by and starring Val Kilmer. It looks at his life and career of over 40 years. It is directed by Leo Scott and Ting Pu. Val Kilmer has always been a huge fan of film. For this reason, the documentary is unique. In fact, for this reason, this documentary has actual footage of years and years of Val Kilmer's life. From behind the scenes of big hit Hollywood movies to his personal life with family and friends. This documentary will take you through his life and is narrated by Jack Kilmer, his son, who reads his father's own words. Question is, is this 2021 documentary Val worth the watch? And what life lesson can we take from this one? Let's find out. I've got to be honest, guys. When I was sitting down for this month to plan out what movies and documentaries I was going to review, I saw, oh, there's a documentary about Val Kilmer called Val on Prime. Hmm. I was like, how much did he really do? He seemed like he was a side actor or just a couple of parts. I just like, well, well okay, kind of seems meh. I was like, well, how many movies was this guy in? It might not be that interesting, but I'll give it a shot. Then I realized how many movies he was in. It's kind of like, you know, when you have a band that you hear of, and you're like, I don't know that band. So you listen to it like, oh, I like that song. Oh, they sing that song? They sing that song too? It was like that. I was like, oh, he was in a lot of movies. He actually had quite the career. One thing that really makes this documentary really, I guess it's a biography, very interesting and unique is that he even filmed a lot when he was a child and as an adult behind the scenes. So they're putting together this documentary and you're able to really see things that are normally a biography or an autobiography, I guess is what this would be called, wouldn't have this much information because who's going to start collecting film and stuff from when they were children for a supposed future career that you're going to make a documentary about. It made it really unique. It also has a high production value. There was a lot of producers in this. There were two directors. He did some narration. His son did most of the narration. Expect the level of quality that's very high in this documentary as well. I'm selling basically my old self, my, my old career. But it enables me to meet my fans and what ends up happening is I feel really grateful rather than the life lesson I got from this one is about acceptance. Acceptance of where he's at. Acceptance and just enjoying the present of being. He has a lot that he should be grateful for. A lot that he has to live for still, even after his issues he's had. I mean, he could focus on what he has lost. His youth, his what ifs, even his voice. He could focus on why he had to get throat cancer. And now, why he talks like this. Doesn't, Doesn't the universe, universe know who I am? He still enjoys being here in the now. There is so much to be grateful for. We can always choose to suffer in our minds. That is an endless endeavor indeed. So be here, be in the present. That way of thinking, of being in the present, not being in the future imaginary land or being in the past interpreted imaginary land, just being here. That has helped me so much to think that way. Just be in the present. And that's what this documentary reminded me of. In summary, this documentary, Val, is a look at the actor Val Kilmer, but not the actor per se. It's a look at the person Val Kilmer and his life and career over 40 years. I recommend this documentary, even if you're not a fan of Val Kilmer. It's just a great example of a person living their life, learning their life lessons, coming full circle, and accepting what is Look, the guy's not perfect. You could say, well, it's his documentary or his biography or autobiography. He's clearly painting himself to the angel here, but he's not. He really does show how he was pompous. He was a perfectionist. He had a bad reputation of being like a control freak on set and stuff. Then it shows how he's come full circle, how he's accepted things and he's okay with it. And he's actually, there's more hope and there's a more future for him. Nothing's over. Life shifts. And that's why I'm giving Val the 2021 documentary a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. But hey guys, you don't have to stop here. We got some other videos right over here or a video over here. Keep on keeping on.